I'm Fred McNeil, and you're watching QAC TV Sports. We're live from the Gary Carter Memorial Screenport Studios today. Remember, Gary Carter, Hall of Fame catcher, played for the Montreal Expos, tragically as a young man, died of brain cancer. Let's see what we have on the agenda today. Number one, hockey. Congratulations, Chicago Blackhawks. You won the Stanley Cup, but folks, when's the last time you went to... Dunkin' Donuts on Ken Island. Someone said, hey, what's the, what's the hockey score? Nobody cares, except for a bunch of Canadians living up near the Arctic Circle. Hey, Jock, did you see the uh, Blackhawks game? Eh? Sorry, Pierre, I didn't see it. My wife had me chasing polar bears, and I was getting a mullet haircut. Eh? Anyway, congratulations, Blackhawks. U.S. Open. How about this guy, Jordan Spieth? He wins the Masters. He wins the U.S. Open. But the big news is, oh, the PGA pros were, oh, boo-hoo-hoo, the course is so tough. Come on, get your kilt on, look tough. The game was invented in Scotland. It's supposed to have hills and dales and all types of obstacles. This is Scottish golf. Anyway, congratulations for the U.S. Open winner. Let's go on to soccer. We're continuing with the Women's World Cup. USA, like I said last week, they beat the Australians. They tied the Swedes. They beat the Nigerians. This week, they're starting off on Monday facing Colombia. But watch out for those Germans. That's a tough team, USA. Be careful. Now, on a more serious note, wonderful article in this week's Sports Illustrated. Very sad. Smack epidemic. And what this is about, young High school age, and let me say that again, high school age athletes using painkillers when they're hurt, and that causes all types of complications for future drug use. Serious article, but one every parent should read as we all face a heroin epidemic here in the United States. Hey, let's end up with baseball. It's that time of the year. The Nats are 37-33 and 33 in the NL East. They're in first place. Harper having a Hall of Fame year. O's under Buck are 36-33. and 33. They're three games out of first place just where they want to be. Okay, hey, have a wonderful July 4th. And remember, watch out for the high hops, belly flops, and outfielder drops.